What if you had to spend the rest of your life living in an empty room? You could never go outside and four times a day these aliens would come in, stand on your face, make you run around and throw fish at you while other aliens watched and laughed. That's not the kind of life I would want, and you probably don't either. And if you do, you're a sick freak. But luckily, we don't have to because we are humans. But what if we were, I don't know, dolphins? Well then our lives might look something like this. Our lives would be shorter, we'd get sick all the time, we'd have access to less than 1% of the space we'd use in our natural environment, we would have no mental stimulation even though we're the second smartest animal on the planet, we would suffer from extreme psychological stress, and we'd constantly be pumped with antidepressants, antipsychotics and tranquilizers. But I don't have to tell you why keeping dolphins in captivity is a problematic idea. We've all seen the cove, we've all seen blackfish, we all know it needs to stop. But even though we know this, SeaWorld, Marine Land, and Aqua Dolphin Fun Ultra Humane Pack are still in business. What? The reason is supply and demand. When we talk about supply and demand, we're talking about voting with your dollar. That is for every dollar or pound or whatever it is that you spend, a signal is sent to the producer about what should be produced and how much should be produced. It's about human choices and their consequences. Let's look at something relatable, smiley potato faces. Tesco sells these at £3.95 per kilo. The price is determined because it matches the quantity that the buyer wants to buy and the seller wants to sell. This is called the equilibrium price. In other words, Tesco values £3.95 at more than a kilo of potato faces, but the customer values potato faces at more than £3.95. So, everyone's happy. But four things can happen in a free market. Increase in supply, which sees the price decrease. Decrease in supply, which sees the price increase. Increase in demand, which also sees the price increase and decrease in demand, which sees the price fall. To put it another way, what customers demand and how much they demand has a direct effect on what the company supplies, how much they supply, and the price point. If you don't like the policies or practices of a particular company, then refusing to give them your money will affect the company's practices. And for every person that also boycotts the company, the change becomes more rapid. Similarly, there can be external forces that affect supply and demand. So let's say a virus is wiping out 90% of potatoes. The supply is a lot lower, but the demand hasn't changed, so the supplier can charge more. So as long as there's money coming in, these companies ain't budging. It's down to the customer to either A. Stop demanding these things or B. Demand something different. A. Final answer. The answer is actually both, but we're going to talk about B today. So, so do I still get the million? What if I told you we're actually living in the future? Robot dolphins exist and nobody can tell the difference. Well, you probably call me a goofball, a wingnut, a knucklehead McSpazitron. But that's not very nice. This channel is no place for prejudice. This is a loving community, and if you're going to throw around language like that, you can just leave. The door's right there. <laughs> But if you care about animals, you're enjoying this video, or you just think I'm cute, then you need to hit that subscribe button. Because if you don't, you support the dairy industry. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. It's just, it's just that button there, that little one there. You can just, have you done it? Okay, great. Okay, I've got this short video of a dolphin that I want you to watch, and all you need to do is just say what you're thinking as you watch it. It looks like, an, uh, looks like a human swimming pool. A little dolphin in a pool. Proper pool with lanes, isn't it? An actual swimming pool. It's just yeah. a normal swimming pool, yeah. It's not like a, not a dolphin pool, is it? I, I have no idea why uh, why they've got a dolphin in, in what looks like a swimming pool near a main road. It's not, a, it's, it's weird because I don't see why it's in there. I'm gonna tell you about a magical place today. It's called the Ocean Area, the Island of Dreams. <laughs> oh, the island of dreams! The island of dreams! No, 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 no! It's the, it's the dreams of who? Who is it the dreams of? Um, I think that you can learn a lot of things. I think you can learn um, the most efficient way to move through water in general. And then I also think... It's... She's not wrong. <laughs> like, dolphins <laughs> are very effective through water. It just strikes me that you don't need to, need to put a dolphin in a swimming pool to see that. I really don't see what helpfulness it is to, to swim around a, a closed, tiny pool with a dolphin. You wouldn't even be able to keep up with a dolphin if it was in natural in its natural environment, which is the ocean, by the way, folks. So surreal. It's really surreal. It's really weird. I'm not. It's so odd because it's uh, 
Just a strange place it's to find a pool, dolphin. isn't it? That poor dolphin. As far as I'm aware, and I'm no dolphin expert, dolphins are meant to live in pods with the same, uh, you know, with other dolphins of their kind. You know, like everyone else has the entitlement to have a family member, have freedom. And no, th this is, is basically no different to a performing chimp. Yeah, if it was in the human context, you'd be trying to sell a slave. They are well trained. They, they will perform for your audience because we don't care about preservation because what we want is to sell the dolphin to entertain, to give those kids a false sense of security, a false sense of an idea that animals in captivity are there for us to entertain us. That's what I'm getting from this. I mean, if we could actually understand dolphins and they could understand us, I think we'd be in for a bit of a shock about what they actually thought of us. <laughs> so is there some level of um, worry that the dolphin isn't getting what it would naturally? Yeah, definitely. It, the whole thing is abuse race. Okay, so maybe you'd be surprised to learn that there's a big twist to this video because this dolphin is animatronic. <laughs> That's really impressive, isn't it? That's cool. I did not know that it was a robot dolphin, to be quite honest. Yeah, I mean, I can't tell. I couldn't tell at all. There we go. There's an answer. So you don't need live dolphins to teach about dolphins anymore. That's yeah. amazing. That's great news. That's just, that's amazing. <laughs> you know, I, I I'm looking at it now, and I and I can't tell it's a robot dolphin. But I would never have known that that was an animatronic dolphin. That's amazing, mate. Well, that's fantastic news. These three idiots can't tell the difference between a robot dolphin and a real one, but can you? You've seen the footage, you know what a robot dolphin looks like now, but even now, do you think you can actually tell the difference? One of these dolphins is real, and the other is an animatronic dolphin. If you think you can tell the difference, or even if you don't, leave a comment below telling me which one you think is the robot. And if you guess correctly, I'll be choosing three people to win one of these. These pictures of iPhones. I'll, I'll give you a link to it. If the answers come in at 50-50, that's it. That's science, baby. We're about to revolutionize the captive dolphin industry. Or rather, Edge Dolphin Spirit is. This is a team that everybody should be aware of because their aim is to end the captivity of animals in marine parks. You may have heard of Edge Innovations, actually, because they worked on a few little independent films such as... I don't know. Free Willy. It might sound like I'm being paid to say this, but I'm really not. I just think this project is so, so cool and I wanted to promote it. Right now, they're running a GoFundMe which aims to fund the launch of a pilot attraction in the summer of 2022, which will prove to the world once and for all that these animals no longer need to be imprisoned for the enjoyment of other species. I mean, they didn't need to anyway, but not everyone agrees with that. If you're still watching this, that probably means that you have concern over the welfare and rights of dolphins and other captive animals. So, if you're looking for something actionable to do, here's where you can come in. Aside from, of course, donating to the fundraiser, you can follow the team on Instagram to stay up to date with the project, and you can share this video or any of their videos on your own social media to raise awareness. Aside from this project, I urge you to learn more about why keeping animals captive is considered by many to be animal abuse. Documentaries like Blackfish, The Cove and Sea Spiracy would be a good place to start. Remember though, it's not enough for us to just boycott these shows because that just puts us in a neutral position. We're not putting any abuse into the world, but we're not doing anything to solve it either, so we need to persuade others too. Depending on your skills and how comfortable you are, this could be protests, stickering, chalking, making your own videos and infographics, and even hosting watch-alongs of the documentaries I just mentioned. Before I go, I would love to say a huge thank you to my very first patrons. I opened my Patreon last week, and their support really means a lot. I'm sure you can see just how much work goes into these videos, so if you would like to join these guys in supporting me or you just want to get your name at the end of every video the patreon link is in the description along with help going vegan and sources for every claim in this video now remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you later thank you for watching